Okay, so let's just get right into it. So right now I'm just showing you the locks that I got. And I got these from my local beauty supply store. I'm going to try to find a link like on a website if I can. But if not, you can just take a picture of when I held up the product. But they're just some short locks in the blue pack. So right now I'm just showing you the back of my hair and it looks a hot mess. Because I can't part to save my life. Mostly in the back. But it doesn't really matter like how you part in the back really. Because the dress are going to cover it up. So right now I'm just plaiting my hair. So usually I start off by just braiding my hair halfway. And then I start to twist it down. Just to save time. I'm just going to take a little bit of gel just to make sure it all holds together. Now I just plait that all the way down. So there's that. And then it's also an easy like takedown process. Now I'm just going to grab a lock and grab the crochet hook with the lock. And first I'm just going to take the crochet hook and place it through my plait. And after I'm going to grab the lock and secure it with the latch and then bring it through. So then after that, I'm going to take the hole, like widen it a little bit and then tie a knot. And then tighten it just to make sure it's secure so that's that and now I'm just gonna show you how I wrap the lock around my real hair so just a closer look and I do the wrapping method so first I just unravel the hair a little bit just a little bit and I wrap that piece I unraveled around my real hair so then I just unravel it just a little bit, then wrap it around again. And I just keep doing that until I get to the end of my hair. So I just keep wrapping it and wrapping it. And then once I get to the end of my hair, sorry if I'm smacking along, I'm kind of thirsty. Once I get to the end of my hair, I just kind of like twist the lock a little bit. Just to make sure it doesn't like unravel on itself, but it usually doesn't. And there you go so just to make the lock just a little bit tighter I just you know try to tighten it up by twisting it a little bit so there's the first lock okay so now we're getting to the front and I've already done like half of my head and I just want to show you like what I do in the front. It's basically the same thing like I showed you. See, all those locks, they cover up all that bad part. And so let's get to this front. So right now I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to do the front. Like how I'm going to part it if I want to do like zigzag or like box parts. But I decided to do like um, triangle parts. So that's basically what I'm doing. So I'm just taking my rat tail comb, going through my hair and just parting it. Now this is a very important step because this is really gonna show how neat your hair is because I'm gonna make it look like your hair is parted neatly throughout your head if it's neatly parted in the front. And I know like my edges are a little thin, but I kind of have thin edges kind of because of my mom but they're shortly growing back so we can just put some black spray on that mess so right now i'm just getting my part together and it kind of takes me a long time to do and then after i got my part as straight as i want i'm going to take some of my edge booster that's like my favorite edge control at this moment so i'm just going to take some of that with some rubber bands as well I did oil these rubber bands like I mean I put some oil on the rubber bands soak them in oil just to make sure like the rubber bands don't like break my hair off and I'm just gonna um, put a rubber band on it now I like to use rubber bands mostly in the front just to make the style last longer and just seem more fresher you know just for the style to last longer but I don't usually do it for the whole head so right now I'm just gonna do the same thing and I believe I just like twisted the front because I already had a rubber band. Like I'm just going to twist the front all the way down. Just take some gel. And then after that, proceed to crochet my hair doing the same thing. So I'm just curling that just to secure it. So I'm going to take my latch hook, take that through the rubber band. 
and just leave just a little bit of space um, but between like the rubber band and your hair and then just take that lock through and just do the, the exact same thing with this one. And also in the front, you definitely want to be a little more gen gentle like in the front since you have that rubber band and usually the hair is just a little bit more tender in the front or at least for me it is so i'm just making sure like i'm very careful and just making sure it's tight but like not too tight so i'm just going to do the same wrapping method i showed you in the beginning And if the lock is a little loose for you, then you can take some gel and kind of like wrap it around the lock just to make sure like it stays all together. And now I'm just like checking to see how it looked like in a ponytail, but that's all really it takes. That's all to it. So let's get this done and I know I haven't twisted my hair yet but sometimes I can just crochet it then twist my hair it was getting kind of late and sometimes I just forget that I gotta twist my hair down but that's all to it I hope you guys enjoy my video and like subscribe comment do what you want to do good night <laughs>